Well, that was Ebony with the introduction, and uh, uh, I want to show you a couple of those books that she made reference to. Now, um, on on PBS there was a uh, a program with uh, Chuck uh, Colinaire. He he would take people all over the uh, place and play world beat music, and. It's called, it, the, the program was called Afropop. I don't know if it's still running or not. But um, as, 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 as you can see here, it, uh, it gives you background on music and things like that. So, and then the other one is, I'm going to drop this book now, okay? Then the other one here, um, for, for those of you that like country western, um, I found this at Borders very inexpensively, and what it does, it gives you a um, a historical uh, a review of uh, actually country music. It, it foreign to me, but I kind of I kind of took a look at it. And uh, anyway, th those are the books that um, Ebony was making reference to. I want to say something to you here. Uh, the reason we're doing another music show actually is because when people have a loss of either a, a person or a pet, that can be very traumatic to them. And um, what I found over times by talking to people uh, with the new technology and everything, they don't want to come out of their house. Uh, they are depressed. Um, sometimes they only outlet or communication with people is by internet or, or texting or things like that and so we have kind of lost the not really lost the ability but sometimes we choose not to be around people at all and music is healing it's healing for the soul and uh, it makes us feel good and it's not in the interest of anybody to stay home at all time so I'm going to play DJ here the next two songs you're going to hear is one is uh, uh, Still Waiting for the World to Change. And it's a very timely song because back then when they wrote that, they had no idea that you could insert it at any time period and it would still be a timely song. And then without interruption, we're going to go right to the next one where Lenny uh, takes us back to uh, the time of um, Louis Armstrong.
Yeah, a little John Mayer for you. We thought we'd just throw, throw you a little curveball every now and then. Did you enjoy that? We got so much stuff for you. Get a hold of somebody and you hang on real tight. Mr. Lenny's going to be back here with, with one of my favorite songs, Louis Armstrong tune. This is for you folks, all right? You get a hold of, you get a hold of her and hang on tight, all right? of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by I see friends shaking hands saying how Thank you, uh, Mr. Lenny Epps. Show him, show him some love. Come on <laughs> now. Show him some love. Thank you. You were waiting for me to play this, right? There you go. So, did you enjoy that? I think it was really great. And people really thought he was going to play that trumpet, you know. Uh, now we're going to go to a time period where... No, I kind of fibbed. Uh, we're going to go to Prince first. And then immediately I will, we will change the scene and go to Society's Child, when Lenny sang with Society's Child. And um, you can see the difference. The, the little club is a little more impersonal. And not impersonal, more personal, where we sit and we laugh. And we get there, we hug, that type of thing. And so you have some choices, but that clip is like two or three, maybe even four years old. It give you a difference there. Um, how you can take one musician and take, put him in a different band. And um, it's sort of the same, but the personalities change and the, and the setting changes. We can do so much with music. So enjoy um, Lenny as Prince and then as... Um, we're going to go right into uh, 
oh, what's the name of the place in, in Rochester? Lucky. The Lucky Eagle. There you go. Never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. I only want to one time to your life. Better call. Living God. 